Gunshots were reported. First of all, what happened with the shooting? We are going to give you everything we have. Everything. This is a Fox News alert. Former President Trump is safe after gunshots were reported while he was golfing at his club in West Palm Beach at the Trump International Golf Course, not Mar-a-Lago. The former president is fine, his campaign says, though shots were fired in the vicinity of the golf course. We are now waiting for an update from the Secret Service and police about all this. We are going to give you everything we have. Everything. All right? So when we get done, think about your questions, because we're not going to take a lot. And keep them to the information that you heard. Don't get into what ifs. And because of this, we're not going to go there. All right? So keep that in mind, and we'll be good. So here we go. All right, 1.30 this afternoon, call came out, shots fired. That was called in by the Secret Service. Because we're in constant contact with them all the time, we were notified of that, and we had units here that immediately sealed off the area. Fortunately, we were able to locate a witness that came to us and said, hey, I saw the guy running out of the bushes he jumped into a black Nissan, and I took a picture of the vehicle and the tag, which was great. So we had that information. Our real-time crime center put it out to the license plate readers, and we were able to get a hit on that vehicle on I-95 as it was headed into Martin County. We got a hold of Martin County Sheriff's Office, alerted them, and they spotted the vehicle and pulled it over and detained the guy. After that, we took the victim, I'm sorry, the witness that witnessed the incident, took, flew him up there, and he identified as the person that he saw running out of the bushes and jumped into the car. Now, in the bushes where this guy was is a AK-47 style rifle with a scope, two backpacks which were hung on the fence that had a ceramic tile in them, and a GoPro which he was gonna take pictures of. So those are being processed right now. The Secret Service agent that was on the course did a fantastic job. What they do is they have an agent that jumps one hole ahead of time to where the president at, was at. And he was able to spot this rifle barrel, stick it out of the fence, and immediately engage that individual, at which time the individual took off. So that's what we know about the investigation. We have somebody in custody right now that is a potential suspect. We got a little bit more work to do on it. But as we usually do, as soon as we decide that we're going to book him into the county jail and the charges that he's going to be booked into, we'll get those to you and we'll get a picture of him and we'll get you his background. So now I'm going to turn it over to the representative of the Secret Service and he's going to make a brief statement. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. I first want to thank uh, all of our law enforcement partners, to include the uh, Palm Beach Sheriff's Office and the Martin County Sheriff's Office for their involvement today. Uh, former President Donald Trump is safe and unharmed uh, following a protective incident shortly before 2 p.m. on Sunday at Trump International Golf Club at West Palm Beach. Uh, the U.S. Secret Service personnel opened fire on a gunman located near the property line, and this matter is under investigation. I'll turn it over to uh, my partners over at the FBI. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Jeffrey Veltri. I'm the special agent in charge of the FBI's Miami field office. The FBI has assumed the role as the lead federal law enforcement agency in the investigation of the incident that occurred earlier today at Trump International Golf Course here in West Palm Beach, Florida. We've deployed a number of resources, including the investigative teams, crisis response team members, bomb technicians, and evidence response team members as well. What we need right now is for the public to avoid the area around the golf course. We will continue to support this investigation with the full resources of the FBI, alongside our partners with the United States Secret Service and the Palm Beach Sheriff's Office, as well as Martin County Sheriff's Office and state and local law enforcement. I would ask that if anyone 
has any information that may assist with this investigation, to contact our tip line at 1-800-CALL-FBI or at tips, that's T-I-P-S dot F-B-I dot gov. Thank you. David? Hi, I'm Dave Ehrenberg, State Attorney for Palm Beach County. I want to thank Sheriff Bradshaw and our partners at the local, state, and federal levels. Uh, I'm here because our prosecutors are currently working up warrants and a motion for pretrial detention for the suspect. Uh, in that way, he will be kept in custody. But our filing of these warrants and charges at the state level does not preclude federal charges that could be coming. But in the meantime, it looks like the, uh, the, the warrants and the pretrial detention motion will happen first. And again, I want to thank the cooperation we've had with our federal partners and at the local level. And uh, thank you all for being here today. Okay, we're going to make these pictures available to you. It'll show you a picture of the backpack and the rifle. And there's also a GoPro on the fence there where he was uh, intent on uh, filming what was going on. Even though we're going to have to secure a couple of areas around the, the golf course here, the public doesn't need to panic. We know that we got a post office, a library, and a school down the street. So we'll make it convenient for you to get to all the places you need to go, get your kids to school, get them over here to the post office or wherever else you need to go. It's safe. There's no more danger here, and we'll make it very convenient for you. So having said that, we're going to take a very limited amount of questions, and you can direct them to who you want to answer the question. Sure. Did this individual make any statements as he was being detained? No statement right now as far as his involvement in the incident, and uh, there was further investigation to be completed. What was his demeanor like? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if maybe the gentleman answered. I misunderstood, but I understand. So there was a rifle. So one of your agents saw on the golf course saw a rifle right pointing to a fence with a chain link. Oh, okay, so he saw that. The agent. That is correct. Yes. And the, and the president or the former president was on the course behind him. How close? It was one or two holes behind. One or two. That because the bubble moves across. Uh, through the uh, golf course, so our agents will get there first, clear it. He noticed that the rifle was pointed out, our agents engaged. Uh, we are not sure right now if the individual was able to take a shot at our agents, uh, but for sure our agents were able to uh, to engage with the uh, with the Did subject. I, I, I don't know that. Doesn't appear so. Yep. How? How far away was the president when he was being Probably between three and five hundred yards, but with a rifle and a scope like that, that's not a long distance. For the Secret Service, uh, how far was your agent from the would be assailant? That I, I, I'm not I'm not sure right now. That's we're still looking into that. Of course, of the four rounds of ammunition were fired, all four of those were your agent. That is correct. Four to six. We're not sure yet. Was there a long distance? Explain why. Uh, yes. Yes, ma'am. I didn't hear all that. Could say that one more time and talk up a little bit. Um, so, how was this able to happen? And for future reference, is there any other security at a golf course? Well, you got to understand the golf course is surrounded by shrubbery. So, so when somebody gets into the shrubbery, they're pretty much out of sight. All right. And at this level that he is at right now, he's not the sitting president. If he was, we would have had this entire golf course around it. But because he's not, the security is limited to the areas that the Secret Service deems possible. So I would imagine that the next time he comes at a golf course, there'll probably be a little bit more people around the perimeter. But the Secret Service did exactly what they should have done. They provided exactly what the protection should have been, and their agent did a fantastic job. Which direction was the shrubbery? Really what, north, south, <clears throat> or I guess east, west, or south of the road? The layout of the golf course, you've got three holes, five, six, and seven, all right? One of them runs parallel to Summit Boulevard. One of them runs parallel to Congress. And he was in an area in the, shrub in the uh, shrubbery 
where he could see both holes. So the president was another hole back, which means he's about between four and 500 yards away. So he was on the golf course? Oh, he's on the golf course, yeah, but he's back a ways. For the Secret Service, have you guys changed at all the way that you guys are protecting former President Donald Trump? This now second, potential second attempt on him. Can you just elaborate on how things have changed and what you make of all this? Yes, the, the threat level is high. Uh, we have increased the, uh, the amount of assets that we've supported. So we are, um, we live in danger times. So, yes. The, uh, we're, oh, we're done with questions right now. There's really nothing more for us to add. I just want to tell you, the Secret Service and the FBI and the State Attorney's Office have been fantastic to work with. And I can tell you right now, our agency with this real-time crime center was fabulous. That's how we got the guy. We started out with, we don't know anything, to where we had a tag, we had a vehicle description, and we got an area where we saw the person. Yeah, of course, this is very alarming. And uh, Sean, have you spoken to the former president or texted with him? I, I have spoken with the president three times since this incident. So how is he doing if you spoke to him? You know, well, you, you really want to know the truth, Arthel? He goes, I really, well, there's more details because I did hear, and Steve Wickoff was very clear. The first thing the president did when he got back to the clubhouse was make sure that everybody else was okay. He didn't see his golf partner with him. Where's Steve, where's Steve, where's Steve? And then Steve says, I'm right here. He got in maybe a few minutes behind the president. The Secret Service was able to get everybody to safety. Everybody else was taken off the golf course. Uh, then when the president found out everybody was safe and nobody had been harmed, uh, I guess in typical fight, fight, fight fashion, Trump said uh, to Steve, and then he related to me, um, oh, I really wanted to finish the hole. I was even, and I had a, I had a, a birdie putt, <laughs> and it, it was on the fifth, it was on the fifth hole, um, which shows a, a lot of, uh, I think, guts and gumption and very Trumpian, I guess, in every way. But you know, the good news we can report is that that in spite of this being in such close proximity to the president and others and the Secret Service, that they were not harmed and that they are in safety. And I know the, the investigation will go forward. Probably more details, I would imagine, as time unfolds. Sean, uh, it, for those who don't know that area, the Trump International Golf Course, West Palm Beach, across the causeway from Mar-a-Lago. I mean, it's in a residential neighborhood. You've got, uh, you know, Burger Kings and convenience stores all around. Any word do we know from police? Was this gang-related, a gang-related shooting, two gunmen shooting at each other's? And you've got to hand it to the Secret Service to have it drawn up and to be able to identify this, you know, so quickly. Right. There, there was only one credible news report that I saw, and it was a part of News Corp, which runs the Fox News Channel, came from the New York Post, that they believed the shooting was between two people outside of, of the golf course. Um, but there's not a lot of details to that as of this moment. Now, I would assume we're going to get more information from the Secret Service. Uh, I happen to be driving in and around the area. Uh, I drove past Mar-a-Lago to see what was going on. There was a heavy, heavy police presence. Uh, ever since the shooting in Butler, that had been a, a very a common scene, but not like this. It was, it was more active than usual. And... But, you know, the fact that everybody's okay and four shots were fired, it is, um, it's just, it's, it's, it's honestly, it's disheartening on one level, it's sad on another level, and it's scary on a level that, you know, somebody with an AK-47 could be that close to the president or former president and top presidential candidate in, you know, just 50 days before an election. Yeah, Sean, you're right. It's very disturbing. Um, everybody's nerves are on edge. And as you just told us, the president and uh, former president, his true fashion that he has, you know, kind of sucked it up and just said, look, I'm okay. My people are okay. And I wish I had finished my golf round there. But it is a, a very a tense time. And we don't know exactly uh, right now if, in fact, this was something that was directed at the president or this was something happening uh you know, separate from him, but it definitely was too close for comfort given what happened on it's, July 13th in Butler, Pennsylvania. Yeah.